Hey guys, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham again. Wanted to make a video today to discuss uh, something that again frequently comes up and it has to do with scarring alopecia or scarring hair loss and hair transplant surgery. Specifically, whether or not patients who have been diagnosed with scarring alopecia or scarring hair loss can undergo hair transplant surgery. So the first thing to understand is uh, what scarring alopecia or scarring hair loss is in the first place. What it is, is it's a very broad term for um, a variety of different types of hair loss. The reason why it's called scarring hair loss is because the different processes that make the hair fall out lead to scarring in some form. Generally, it's, it's uh, a type of inflammatory scarring around certain portions of the hair follicle. And unfortunately, many times it's either permanent, depending on the type of scarring alopecia that it is, and there's a, dozens of types and um, whether or not it can flare up meaning whether it can be very active for a while and cause a lot of hair loss and then kind of become dormant and subside and not cause hair loss for a while and you know the big thing these patients want to know is you know they have hair loss um, can they resolve and fix this hair loss with hair transplant surgery um, and you know unfortunately this one is, is a, a huge bummer for me as someone who specializes in uh, hair restoration because um, you know, I always want to help patients out. You know, we get patients that come to us and just say, I've been dealing with this for years, or, you know, this is causing me so much stress, so much anxiety, help me out. And I would say in about 90, you know, 8% of cases, um, the, the individuals that come to us are either um, males with androgenic alopecia, which is a you know, non-scarring um, genetic hormonal type of hair loss that, you know, affects a huge, huge portion of men and is, you know, the number one cause of hair loss in men or it's uh, women that generally have um, female pattern hair loss, which is you know a little bit of a more complex and um, more diverse type of hair loss, but it's, it's kind of similar to androgenic alopecia in men. Um, and these people, these individuals, um, have non-scarring hair loss, and it, it for the vast majority, um, can be fixed with hair transplant surgery. Unfortunately, um, many of these individuals that have uh, scarring alopecia or scarring hair loss are not hair transplant candidates. And um, the reason why is, um, you know, like I said before, either this, this uh, process creates a lot of inflammatory permanent thick scarring around the follicles and the scalp that we're left with um, to work in is just, it's very tough, very difficult. Um, and um, you know, the grafts just don't take. Or number two, it's a, a type of scarring hair loss that has these, these flare-ups. Um, and a good example is uh, something called uh, lichen planopolaris, and uh, again, very fancy scientific term, um, for uh, basically an immune type of hair loss where um, your hair follicles are kind of periodically attacked. Um, and it's, it's probably one of the more common uh, types of scarring hair loss. And um, what will happen with it is patients will have a period where they get a ton of hair loss and, um, you know, it's, it's very dramatic looking. And then it sort of resolves and they think, okay, I'm, I'm out of the woods. Can I, you know, get the hair transplant now? And we generally don't because, um, you know, it may just be like the eye of the storm. You know, it may just be a period where the, the, the scarring process is, you know, resting and lying dormant. But if we transplant hair and move these hair follicles there's nothing saying that it can't come right back and basically you know destroy all the work we did and we don't want to do that to patients you know we're not going to transplant hair that we know has a you know a likelihood of, of falling back out because it's just not fair um so what we generally recommend for these patients is if they do have uh you know an indication um or a, a thought that they have a, a, a scarring alopecia um or if they've been diagnosed with it we definitely recommend that they follow um, closely with a, you know, a physician who is familiar with these and specializes in them. Um, and you know, we recommend that they get a very firm diagnosis and figure out if there's any other treatments that, that they can use um, to treat the scarring hair loss because for the most part hair transplant surgery is not a, a treatment for scarring hair loss, uh, which again is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so for the most part, um, unfortunately scarring alopecia not uh, an indication for hair transplant surgery. There are some types of scarring alopecia that can be treated with certain medications um, or certain uh, topical therapies, um, and we do recommend that you know patients see someone who specializes in this and uh, follow it closely. All right, thanks.